Exploring with Miss Gordon, Poison Ivy. Hello, all you Columbus Academy explorers. Miss Gordon here. I'm here to talk to you today about poison ivy. Poison ivy can be a very scary plant to many people. So today, my goal is to try and teach you what it looks like. It comes in a couple different forms. So that way you can identify it and not be so scared about being out in the woods here at Academy when you go out exploring on Forest Fridays. So the first form we're gonna talk about for poison ivy is when it grows and it has green leaves. And we all know, hopefully you guys know, that poison ivy has three leaves. So if you see a plant that has three leaves growing on it, often people say, if it has leaves of three, let it be. And I agree, but there are also a lot of plants that have three leaves growing on it. So we're gonna look at some poison ivy around Academy, and you guys are gonna hopefully learn some of the small differences that poison ivy has to, that help us to know what makes it different from other plants that are a lot safer to be around. All the plants in this picture are poison ivy. What do you notice? I notice that there are three leaves on each plant. Two of the leaves are close together, and then the third leaf tends to droop forward and down. I also notice that the edges of the leaf are jagged in some areas. Here's another photo of poison ivy. What do you notice here? It is fall here at Columbus Academy, so just like the leaves on the trees are changing, poison ivy leaves also change color. So I notice that there are green, red, yellow, and even purple leaves on these poison ivy plants. It's pop quiz time. Can you tell which plant in this photo is poison ivy? If you guess the plant on the left, you are correct. How about this picture? Can you tell which plants in this photo are poison ivy? If you guess both the yellow and the red plants, you are correct. Here's the last picture, and it is probably the trickiest. There is one poison ivy plant in this photo. Can you tell which one it is? You thought it was the green plant, you are correct. The next form of poison ivy we're gonna talk about is when it grows as a vine. And luckily the vine is really easy to identify because it has all these little hairs growing on it. And they tend to be atta attached to really big trees. So I know it's tempting that sometimes when you see a really big tree, you just wanna go up and hug it you have to be careful with poison ivy to make sure to look all the way around the tree. And if you see a hairy vine, probably don't hug that tree. Here is one of those hairy vines I was telling you about. They start at the bottom of the tree and grow up. Hairy vines are really cool to check out, but definitely keep your distance if you don't want an itchy rash. Next, I wanna show you one spot where it has the most poison ivy that I know about at Columbus Academy so that you can come and check it out and you can look at the poison ivy and study it from a safe distance um, and you can hopefully start to get to know the poison ivy and figure out what makes it different from other plants for yourself. The poison ivy in this area is growing right where the forest meets the grass, right along the ground. Do you recognize this area of campus? Now that you are a pro at identifying poison ivy, just know that you may still run into it and that's okay. If you think you touched poison ivy at some point outside, get inside at some point soon if you can. And go and wash your hands really, really well with warm water 
and dish soap. And just make sure you really scrub the area where you think you touched poison ivy. The last thing I wanna leave you with is just that I know I used to really dislike poison ivy uh, when I would get it really bad. And um, I always wondered what is the point of poison ivy out in the woods? And if you do find one of those hairy vines and the really mature poison ivy um, that grows on those older trees, if you look up, um, especially in the late summer, early fall, you'll see berries on the poison ivy plant. And that poison ivy, again, is very mature. And it those berries are actually eaten by our local birds. So it's actually an important food source for the animals that live in our area. So poison ivy is not always quite such a bad thing. Thanks for exploring with me and learning a little bit about poison ivy today.